Hi guys, today I am going to make a tutorial on how to make a 2D image into a material to apply on your 3D objects. So let's firstly go ahead and delete everything by tapping X, Shift A to add a round cube. And then let's scale it to a size where it's good for a notepad. I'm just gonna duplicate by Shift D to block out the size that we kind of want and move them to the middle. And I'm just going to delete the other one first when it looks good just because we're gonna duplicate it anyways. Let's start by Shift A adding a plane to create a page and then scale it approximately the same size with your notepad. And we're just gonna put it up by G and then I'll scale it down a little bit. Let's tap into edit mode by tab, select the edge, and then we'll go to mesh, snap, cursor to select it. And then let's tap out of edit mode, object set origin, origin to 3D cursor. And now you can see the pivot point is on the edge and you can easily rotate it. So let's shift D, release, and then RX to rotate. I'm just gonna do Control R, wheel it up to make sections on the page so that we could make an easier curve. Um, pressing O here, when we scale it up, the other edges are also affected. And shift D to duplicate another page, R to rotate. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and select both of the pages, tap into edit mode, and then control B to bevel them. Apply a solidify modifier on each page so that it creates a more like cartoony look, which is something that we're going more of this tutorial. And I think this looks good. So I'll just go ahead and shade smooth the bottom notepad so that it looks slightly nicer and highlight all of them shift d to duplicate release by clicking the right side of your mouse and then r z 180 degrees and i'm just gonna grab y position it back here cool Shift A to add a torus, R, Y, 90 degrees, and then scale it down by S. And let's grab Z. Cool. Tap into edit mode, and let's select the X-ray and delete those faces that protrudes under the page. And slightly rotating the edges here so that it aligns more with the page of the book. Shade smooth. And then I'll apply a airy modifier to just duplicate them. Tap into material preview and apply a material for the notepad. Go on for control L to link material and let's create another material for the rings. Here I am going to turn down the roughness and turn 
up the metallic settings. The basic model of the notepad is done. So now I want to make these images onto the pages of the notepad. So we are going to assign a new material to it. When you go to base colors, select that little yellow dot and you'll see image texture. You see the little fi open file symbol there and select your file. And bam, you can see we got them. But it's in a weird rotation, so what we are going to do is open another window UV editor. Let's open that image and tap into edit mode. You can see it, it's how we section the pages. Let's rotate it and scale it so that it is fitting the page as we want. We're just gonna rotate 180 degrees so that it's facing us. And then this one, let's create another material for the other page. The same method. And then you can see we have another page of sketchbook here. But I also want the eyes to be rotated back vertically. So I'm just gonna hit R, 90 degrees and then scale it so the page would perfectly fit into the image. So the ones underneath, as we won't really be able to see it, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some of the images to it, but not necessarily going to rotate it because you can't really see it anyways. But if you're the perfectionist, then go ahead and do what you need to do. So here we have a customized page of sketches within our 3D notepad. I'm just gonna shade smooth the pages so that it looks more like paper and Let's go and set up the camera. Shift A camera and let's drag it here. Tap into camera mode with the camera icon beside you. And here I'm just using R and then G to play with the rotations, play with the placements, positions, and then see which one fits best. You can also go into the camera tab and do the shift X and shift Y settings and just play around with it. It's nothing too serious actually. <laughs> now let's add a sun by shift A again and again rotate to find a light source that you like. I'm also going to add a point light on top so that it creates more of that study lamp on a desk kind of vibe. But feel free to play your own lightings, you don't necessarily have to follow me on this one. And for the rendering settings, I would choose our rendering engine as Cycles. Okay, I'm just going to shift A, create another plane, and assign another wood texture to create like a table looking. So 
So just the same way how we did with the sketchbook, but but this time we're doing it as a background plane. And then go to the render settings, hit denoise, and if you like, go to color management and select your preferences on contrast. I'll go for a high contrast this time and nothing too complicated on this one. So let's go ahead and hit render, render image. And just wait for your image to render and go ahead and hit save and you're basically done but also if you want it as a PNG format with a transparent background let's go and hit the render settings again and then film hit the transparent checkbox and go ahead and hit render again and now you'll get a 3d model without a background and that's all about it thanks for sticking till the end of the video if you have any questions just feel free to comment below and i'll try my best to help everyone as much as i can bye bye